the Canadian press. This is no place for us to live. A Saskatchewan couple says greenhouse gases that were supposed to be stored permanently underground are leaking out, killing animals and sending groundwater foaming to the surface. Cameron and Jane Kerr, who own land above the Weyburn oil field in eastern Saskatchewan, have released a consultant's report that claims to link high concentrations of carbon dioxide in their soil to gas injected underground every day. After we noticed all the bubbling at night, we could hear it sounded like cannons going off. So we'd go out to the ponds and we'd notice a hole in the side with um, bubbling water coming out as if you'd shake up a can of pop. And um, this happened, oh, about three or four times, and we decided maybe we better just leave. Cameron Kerr says ponds on his land have developed algae blooms, clots of foam and scum, while small animals have been found dead a few meters away. Rabbits, ducks, uh, cats, whatever, yeah, there was lots of dead animals. Uh, drinking the water, I think, was there was enough likely enough chemicals in that to uh, likely kill the animals, I would think, or they could have been enough CO2 coming up through to asphyxiate them. Energy giant Sanuvas injects 8,000 tons of the gas every day in an attempt to enhance oil recovery and fight climate change. A consultant found high concentrations of carbon dioxide in the soil that matches the carbon dioxide Sanuvas has been injecting. Sanuvas doubts those findings, pointing out they contradict years of research from other scientists. The Saskatchewan NDP government had agreed to conduct a year-long study to find out what was going on, but that hasn't happened since the government changed in 2007. Uh, I was surprised that just to protect the reputation of the industry in, in, in Saskatchewan that they didn't uh, take the opportunity to, to conduct a full investigation. Um, Any time an area of this kind of concern comes forward, we're certainly interested in and want to make sure that the uh, safety aspects are, um, are not only in place but respected. The suggestion that the Weyburn Capture and Storage Project might be leaking could have implications for similar projects that try to store carbon underground, a technique being studied around the world with billions of dollars of public financing. From the Canadian Press, I'm Jerry Smith. The Canadian Press.